Hey everyone, my name is Kristen McCarthy and I am the intern pastor at American Lutheran Church in Clinton Township, Michigan. And I'm Nicole McCarthy. I'm the program innovator for Living Water Ministries. And we're going to do a short devotion for you on the first words that Jesus said on the cross. Um, we're, we're going from Luke, the 23rd chapter. Um, Jesus says, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Yes, yeah, so up until this point in the last uh, day or so of Jesus' life, he has been denied by his friends. He's been handed over to the government and has been beaten and sent to be crucified. Yeah, I could not imagine like living my life, making all the, these relationships and having like obviously this awesome core group of friends and then they all deny me at some point in my life where I need support the most, you know? Um, and it kind of makes me think of what's going on in history and in the world right now um, with the COVID-19 crisis how you know we're being told to stay home and we're we're doing all the things we can to be safe but maybe we we're still doing things that are wrong that we don't know um what we're doing and i think that's where jesus grace and forgiveness and love comes in because even if we are trying to do all the right things we're gonna mess up because we're human um and so we're going to mess up and jesus is going to offer us that forgiveness thank god <laughs> um and I think it makes sense that forgiveness is the first thing that Jesus talks about when he's up on the cross, because like that, that's what our faith is about. Like that is why Jesus died for us. It's, um, it's the point of Jesus' death for us. Yeah. And Jesus knows that we need forgiveness, even when we don't know, uh, we probably, we commit so many sins that we're not even aware of, or that we don't think about as sins and Jesus knows knows it all and so he he knows that we need this forgiveness yeah absolutely i think that so many times when we think about forgiveness we think about like how we can be forgiving others um but i wonder what it would look like if we turned to ourselves and recognized the way in which we need to forgive ourselves or in the ways that we would hope others would forgive us for for things that we have done in the world. I mean, I know personally, like I can look back on situations that I've lived through and realize, wow, I didn't, I didn't do such a great job there. Um, and you know, being forgiven by others feels so great, but then mm -hmm. to actually forgive myself for the things I've done that it takes a lot, it takes of self-love. And I think that is what God would want from us, you know? Yeah. Um, and so Jesus knows that we need this forgiveness. And when we survey the wondrous cross, when we think about what Jesus did for us, we remember the love that comes through it all. And forgiveness becomes an easier thing for all of us, I think. Um, parent, Father, Mother, God, forgive us all, for we do not know what we are doing. Amen.